Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 paper. Here we're looking at question two. A Coast Guard station O monitors the movement of small of a small boat. At 10 o'clock, the boat was at the point 2i minus 4j kilometers relative to O. At 12.45, the boat was at the point minus 2i minus 5j relative to point O. The motion of the boat is modelled as that of a particle moving in a straight line at constant speed. Calculate the bearing on which the boat was moving. Uh, give your answer in degrees to one decimal place. Okay, so bearings question. So let's draw a graph and visualise what's going on here. The boat was at the coordinate 4 minus 2. So about here. 4 minus 2. And now it's at the coordinate minus 3 minus 5. So it's now roughly down here. Minus 3 minus 5. So if we're looking to find the bearing, this was the 10 o'clock version. So we find the north line there, we connect it to this point here. And then we want to find the angle of rotation round from this point, from the north line, to the line that it's travelling on, this line here. So how are we going to do that? Well, maybe we might want to make a little triangle here. And then we'll do 270 minus the angle inside here. We'll call it X maybe. And then that will give us our answer. So it's going to be, um, so this is 4 minus 2, so it's going to be from 4 to minus 3, that would be 7 across, and minus 3 to minus 5, that would be 3 down. So it's going to be x equals tan inverse, opposite over adjacent, 3 over 7. So let's grab a calculator and work that out. Tan inverse 3 over 7 is 23.2. And now for the final answer on the bearing, it's going to be 270 minus 23.2. And that gives us a final answer of 246.8. Uh, to one decimal place, so there we are, that's the answer for part A. And now the answer for part B, calculate the speed of the boat giving your answer in kilometres per hour. Well, the time, if we do distance divided by time, the time that the boat was travelling for was 2 hours 45 minutes, which is 2 and 3 quarters of an hour. So it's 2.75 hours. Now we need to work out the distance the boat has travelled. Distance. And we'll do that by doing a Pythagoras calculation. So it's going to be uh, 7 squared plus 3 squared. And 7 squared plus 3 squared is the square root of 58. So now the speed is going to be distance divided by time, which is going to be root 58 divided by 2.75, which equals... 2.77 kilometers per hour. And there we are, that's the answer for this question here. So that's uh, six marks in total for question two. Let's now move on to question three.